Hey everyone, I'm Chris. And I'm Brock, and welcome back to our channel. Welcome! And welcome back to us to New York. Yeah, yes. we literally just got off the plane from Utah at 12.30 this morning. It's about 12 hours ago, <laughs> and we literally hit the ground running, and here we are filming our YouTube to go live today. To literally go live today. And it's all about the fact that we are getting married! We are getting married! <laughs> Did you just propose? I didn't just propose, I proposed over a year and a half ago. If you're new here, uh, we got engaged January of 2018 when Chris proposed, and yeah. then I proposed to him in August of 2018. But I think we'll do a different video specifically dedicated chatting to about it. why there were two proposals, why our wedding is two years late. Also maybe like that... how we knew that we were going to get married, or we were going to propose to each other, right? Yeah. Also, if you're new to the channel, like Brock said, we have videos on our channel, so we'll put them up here for our proposals. Bloop! Bloop! <laughs> All right. But yeah, so it's been a while in terms of us actually being engaged, and I think wedding planning didn't really start until what? Like well, what's it's new to us. I mean, we initially thought it was going to be in October of... This going to be like last month, but that there's no way that that was going to happen, and... <laughs> I don't know. I just think that... It's crazy to think about how it's changed in terms of what we had thought about for our wedding. It was going to be in Palm Springs in the very beginning, well, and... to be fair, we still don't know what it looks like. Okay, that's actually so a... fair. And we make a joke, like, every other day that we are just going to give up and elope instead of having a wedding, but I... I mean, there have been so many times that we've said, I'm just calling off the wedding, but <laughs> we both also, like equally said that. I'm but calling off the wedding. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, but Just we do like, have some details that we figured out, right? Yeah, I mean... and so this video we're hoping will be the first of many to really share where we are with our wedding planning, noting that since this is our first wedding. I mean, yeah, yeah it is. It is our first wedding. And I hope it's our guys. last. Hopefully, I think it will be. I think so too. I hope so. <laughs> um, where was I going with that? I mean, it's our first wedding, so maybe it's like just like planning is like know. we don't know. We've been unguided. Yeah, we're like a fish out of water, kind of. I mean, it's. I wouldn't say it's difficult. It's definitely just so new, and to be honest, I feel like we haven't had the most guidance. I already said <laughs> <laughs> unguided earlier, but we haven't had the most guidance in terms of like mapping out every little detail of the wedding planning. Well, it's hard to know like how far we should be at this point, five months out. Like, I lately feel like we've totally procrastinated, but then we have conversations with people and they're like, you're so far down the road. And I'm like, okay, well that makes me feel a little better. Especially um, when we like both have like a freak out oh, an hour before that conversation. Or like in <laughs> five minutes before filming this video. No, also that. <laughs> okay, but yeah, so we do have some details, which is, so we have our date we and have our date. Um, it's officially today, less than five months to the day of our wedding, which will be on April 4th, 2020. 2020. So <laughs> at, in five months from today, we'll hopefully be on our honeymoon. I like that idea yeah. too. Um, but yeah, so the reason why we're doing it on 4-4-2020 is on April 4th, 2010, I sent my first Facebook message to Brock. Yes, and this <laughs> is true. And we do, um, if you've watched our video about how we've met, we were introduced by a mutual friend, Lisa yeah. Lee, who was my friend in college, Chris's friend in high school. Yeah. Or, I mean, she's both of our friends now. Still. <laughs> but she connected us on Facebook, I guess. And she, well, she connected us, she told me about Brock, and then I sent a message to you on Facebook. Yeah, so our wedding will be 10 years to the day that we, our first, like, I guess, official, unofficial point of contact, even yeah. though we didn't date for... Yeah. Over a year after that. We only like talked for about a year, but we're dubbing this basically 10 years in the making. Yes, so I'm here for it. I'm here for that too. Um, other details that we have, let's see. So well, we know where it is. Yeah, we do know where it is. It's going to be... Da, 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 da. Are we announcing it? Well, like, we'll we won't we have. announce... Have we already announced it? I don't know. We haven't announced the venue. Right? It's going to have... be in San Francisco. Yeah. So uh, we're going to hold off on announcing the venue just yet while we do have it. Um, but it will be in San Francisco, really as... Um, well, we started planning this just before we moved, but we knew we were moving at the time. We already knew, yeah. I mean, I think that the reason why we chose San Francisco was because all, like all of our relationship took place in San Francisco. Well, we met in the Bay Area. We met yeah. in Berkeley. 
and then lived in San Francisco together for almost seven years. Yeah. So it really will be like a homecoming, all of our families in California, so that makes travel easy on them. But uh, I really feel like thinking about a wedding, um, San Francisco couldn't be more perfect. More perfect. Yeah. Even though initially we thought we'd be in Palm Springs, <laughs> which uh, we quickly wrote off. I think also it's just, there's just something about San Francisco that... And, and the, the venue is so perfect, and I can't wait to share it, that when the time comes. But San Francisco is honestly where we've left our heart. And, I mean, we're in New York now, and hustling, and the hustle is real. But I it's think it's going to feel so good to have our special day be in a place that, like, really grew us. Or you we know? grew together. Yeah. You know, so it'll be really exciting. And, um... Gosh. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we just, I mean, there's not, I don't know if you know about San Francisco, there's not a ton of great wedding venues, and this isn't actually a wedding venue, we just happened to come across this space, and yeah. we're able to use it, so we're really excited. I'm so excited for it. It really fits the bill for everything that we want. What other details do we have? Okay, so... Well, we know who's officiating <gasps> our wedding. Actually, That's also, that was the yeah. first detail that we found out. Uh, or figured out, I guess. Um, we asked our f good friend and mentor, Kevin Sharkey, to officiate our wedding, which is super, super exciting. And it's, I think, very important that he was a part of the wedding in some capacity, and I was just amazed. Maybe not amazed, but just really thankful that he accepted yes. our request for if him you're to be this, thank you, Kevin. <laughs> our officiant, because he's just been such a pivotal person to us in terms of... Very unexpected yeah. presence in our life, I feel like. We our, met him very happenstance, and he's been a great friend of ours for the last four years. He's helped us both, like, personally, individually. I think he's added so much inspiration and guidance in terms of our relationship, as well as, like, our professional careers and just life and kind of... Mm -hmm taking things it's truly amazing and I don't think that there's anyone yeah. else who could could do it we also we also said that this video was going to be so short and we're giving so many details but obviously this is clear of how much we have going on in terms yeah, of this wedding we planning do have a lot. I mean it's making me feel a little better about it oh that's good yeah we also have our save the dates going out we might pop them in the hair yeah or over there or I don't know they look really cool and so we went digital for them but we will be going for more traditional invitations, right? Well, we do Formal do digital, invitations. but we will be sending out some paper save the dates because we do have some members of our family that are a little bit more traditional yeah. or don't have email, which like, I, there are people that exist that don't have email. Who, who didn't have email? Your, your grandma? Yeah, my grandma. Oh, yeah. Like, there's a few. There's also, a my, like, my great aunt um, definitely doesn't use her email as much, so she'll be getting a, like, a paper save the date, as well as everyone will be getting uh, paper or... Yeah, That's what thinking. Paper printed, invitations, printed, printed invitations. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, that'll be something that we chat about more in the future. Um, we also want to chat about our wedding parties. We have a wedding. bachelor party and what that's going to look like. Figuring out all the rest of the details, you know, like what we're wearing, who's in our parties, how we selected them, how we invited them to be in yeah. our parties, um, our guest list. It's changed so much, our guest list. Oh my gosh. Like on the plane ride, from San Francisco to Bali after I proposed to Rock, we came up with our first draft of our wedding it's list. It's been through so many <laughs> different iterations at this point, but it's finally feeling like it's in a really good place. Um, it looks like we're gonna land <laughs> on probably somewhere between 120 to 150 guests I would say, total, yeah. um, give or take. I think it's gonna be 150, but that's where my bet is. I'm hoping it's a little, little less just because. Gotta save money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is going to be the most expensive dinner that we've ever paid for our friends and family. <laughs> now, where did you come up with that line? <laughs> <laughs> Rocky used that like literally two weeks ago, oh. and I've been using it ever since. Gosh. Well, when I'm right, I'm right. Um, what else? I mean, there's so many different details within a wedding yeah. that you don't think about. And so we're also curious what you want to see more of and if there's details that you think that we should be sharing or if you have questions or questions that maybe yeah. we're not even thinking of answering which would be helpful yeah <laughs> um, i think also just in general we want this to be a resource for and just like a source of entertainment and love but we want to make this like a series that's documenting our wedding in a real and raw way just as it's happening especially as like brock mentioned in the very beginning you know we haven't had like the most clear representation of what a wedding could be for 
two the men. two the two men or two men. or just us you or know two just, women or just two people in the modern world you know yeah. um, a lot of traditions I think are a little antiquated and some of them are great to carry on but then there's so much room of flexibility to create our own traditions like for example us both proposing to each other yeah or um, are we both gonna wear white I don't know are yeah we? I, I mean, mean there's so many there's so many Just like present. <laughs> There's so many this, options and opportunities, it's infinite. right? I think you know the the traditional idea of a wedding is there's a bride and a groom, but why can't there be? Why can't we be two brides? Why, or two grooms? We are two grooms if we want. You know why can't there be a bridegroom? You know why can't there be a groom bride? I think that there's like so many, like I said, opportunities here for us to shape. To really this make it our own, and I feel like we always try to make things our I own do. and do things our own way. And yeah. I think maybe part of I wouldn't say hesitation, but maybe our procrastination has been like being hit with all of these traditions and trying to live up to um, values or images of marriage that we've seen. But really, um, I think with the realization that... <laughs> There's a siren. There's a siren. <laughs> with the realization that we can do things our own way, I think yeah. that's where it's really exciting. <laughs> I mean, I think that like... Oh my god. Okay, so that was a lot. I know that that might have been actually longer than we anticipated this to take. We Which really wanted, good, yeah. We were so concerned that this was going to be a, a little like pop-in video where we didn't have anything to talk about and I think that we all so that. We all, who are we kidding? I know. Who are we kidding? I know, we talk uh, so much. <laughs> <laughs> Just... We also always go into these videos telling each other like, okay, you know, don't ramble. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to ramble. Like, You're the rambler. 20 minutes later, we have like the longest sit down ever. I think uh, it's going to be longer. It's real. And you know what? I feel like we're going to try to throw this up pretty much unedited because I want our entire process of planning and sharing our it wedding be real. to be real. Because I think that we need more real representation of the love that's out there and if we're just one little light of that I think that that's helpful you know right. and so we're gonna shine our light as bright as we can throughout this entire process and we're gonna share every step along the way or as many as we can remember to like, document yeah. and um, I think like one thing I want to say now just so I can remind myself if I watch <laughs> this video later is that no it. matter like how perfect we try to make it at the end of the day as long as I'm standing across from you on April 4th saying I do, then it is a success no matter what else happens. And I love it. You're gonna make me cry. I'm not even <laughs> also prepared for our vows. Oh yeah, we gotta start writing those. <laughs> that was okay. really sweet, Brock, especially because we've had like a little bit of a rough you day. We need to relax a little bit. We both need to just chill out and... <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay. Not gonna cry on camera. Um, yeah, so we're going to launch this wedding series. So again, like Brock said, just as a reminder, if you have any questions, you have any comments. thoughts, comments on what we should be showing and sharing. Or if you've had a marriage that is not traditional or whether that's gay or straight and you have like something fun that you did, like share in the comments because we'd love to check those out. Yeah, I mean, that would be super helpful. And we just love you all. I feel like the amount of comments that you, you all give us is both unprecedented unprecedented really to us and makes us just feel so much love and so welcome so welcome and last week's video we said that we were going to do a shout out to some of you yummers that's just, yes we think everyone's a yummer um but we're we're gonna do that now um okay. and then for the next video we'll definitely do, we'll keep on doing these shout outs so i wrote them down um we grab have, your notebook <laughs> grab, my, grab my notebook which i wrote daily notes on so um <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have three shout outs today and we're gonna also pop their Instagram handles because that's where we asked or what's what we asked for. The first one is Jan Hernandez. So hey Jan Hernandez. Hi, Jan. Hey. Second one is Austin Musgrove. Hey Hi, Austin. Austin. <laughs> <laughs> and then the third one is Alyssa Stephanie. Hey Alyssa! Hi Alyssa Stephanie. <laughs> I hope you all are having a great day and thank you so much for watching yeah thank you all if you haven't yet please subscribe, subscribe. and follow us on instagram twitter tiktok facebook pinterest we're yummer time twitter. everywhere we're, so. we're yummer time everywhere is that our slogan yummer time everywhere yummer time everywhere for a good time call yummer time another brockism he stole Shh. Okay. all right well we love you all love you all so much have a great day have a great day <laughs>